All right, guys, I'm at this permission I've been digging. Done a lot of stuff. Um, it was all mainly 30s, 20s back there, but all of a sudden I came over to this little area near this tree, and um, and it makes sense because the houses are 1700 and like uh, 1860 something. Uh, so I was thinking there's gotta be an old pocket in here somewhere, and there sure enough as hell is. Look at this, New England Bottling Company, or Bottling, yeah, Bottling Company, Westerly. It's a blank med there. This is a beauty. Uh, pure horseradish, HD gear, Three River, uh, Three River, Massachusetts. I've dug one, but this one's undamaged, and it's got like a lot more of a cruder top and lighter aqua. A um, bunch of blown stuff, but I come back in the hole as a hero jar lid and a marble. Come back in the hole because I got bottles sticking out all over. The jar right here is a med. We're going to pull, and let's see what it... Oh my gosh, it's in... Oh my gosh! No way! This is a good bottle too. Groton Pharmacy, 91 Thame Street, Groton, Connecticut. Oh, it's a beauty. And it's no, not even damaged or anything. Oh! I was going to say, that's what this one should have been. That's kind of under my... Oh, I'm going to put this over here safely though. But that's that's what the... Uh, that's what this... Uh, where the heck did it go? I don't know. It's Oh, right here. That's what this one should have been, but... Oh, man. All right. We're going to see if I can put anything else on camera. Just kind of reach my hand down in and it's a very crunchy layer next to these roots. This jar could be broken. It could be a hole. I don't know. Something broken right next to it. No, oh, jeez. It's got a rock right on top of it. So it's a miracle if that survived. It's, it's a miracle if this jar survived. I'll tell you that. But it could have. So I'm going to try it. It looks like a lightning jar. But I don't really want to. No, I don't, I don't want to do that because it's going to. I'm gonna have to work on this jar more. There's something broken behind it. I'm gonna have to work on this jar more, guys. And when it comes out, I will turn you guys in. But yeah, there's stuff all over this side. All right, stay tuned. Well, I got the jar out. Let's see, any damage? Nope. The lid's down in here. There it is, there's the lid. Which oddly doesn't say lightning, but this jar definitely does. Trademark lightning, grounded lip. Oh man, that's nice. Yeah, no cracks. It's got the putnam on the bottom. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's got some goodies, it looks like, still inside of it. But, damn. Alright, we're getting some stuff today. Uh, I'm sure there was stuff behind. Well, that was unbelievable. It was. You can see where it, was, it was sat. There's a rock here. Or, yeah, rocks here, but pot here. There's a rock right, that was right on wedged on top of it. Bunch of broken stuff and metal all around it. Um, heck is this? Is it broken? Something's broken. There's a root. More metal. All right, I'm gonna have to get back to you guys when I get some stuff showing. All right, let's see. As I go through this, I got a couple more blanks. I got a double safety jar and. I got some more bottles somewhere down here. I felt them. There's one right there. Oh, I got a... Oh, and I'll show you. I got a broken uh, blob that actually looks like an earlier one being with the bubbles that are in it. So that's unfortunate, but... And I don't think it was embossed, but I don't have any pieces to let me know, so... Uh, that's interesting. But there's something right here. Oh, looks like a pharmacy. Whoa! Very late one if it is a pharmacy. He's blowing a mold, but that's gotta be late blowing a mold. Where's it from? Louisville, Kentucky. What the heck? Hold on. Oh wait, it's not even a pharmacy. Uh, Simplex hair coloring. Dr. William C. Something. Manufacturing chemist, Louisville, Kentucky. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, that is quite interesting. Huh. Cool. There's a broke up. Oh, that's the rest of the broken blob. Okay, as far as I can tell, it had a blank slug plate, but wow, look how crude that is. Hmm. I'm hoping there's more 1800 stuff in here somewhere. There should be some more. It's not broken, hopefully. There's the bottom. Yeah, that was an early blob. It was an early blob. Early, early blob. Um, it is starting to 
to get into the root and rock again, which is annoying. I feel more stuff back there. Ooh, what's this? Feel a bottle. I feel a bottle. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it. It's in a bucket. Can't see the dang thing. It doesn't look that great either, the bottle, yeah, it's just, uh, what the heck is this? It's like a larkin. No. Nothing on it? Oh, there's something on top, hold on. Oh, it is a larkin. Interesting, I didn't see it. Oh, yes it does. Can't really see it because of stuff inside of it, but that's interesting. A little crack, unfortunately. Hmm. Where's that a crack? Yeah, it's a crack, a little flash. There's gonna be more down in here. There's gotta be more, I felt. Yeah, there's something else right there. It's broke, I think. I can't tell what it possibly is. There's probably more behind that. Yeah, I feel another top of something right there. Yeah, it's definitely a nice layer in here, I can tell you that. Definitely a nice layer. Citrate top. Ooh, ooh, what's this? There's something right here. No, it's broke. Broken uh, food. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll turn it back on if I get something else good. How does it look that just popped? Yeah, if this gets something else good, I'll let you guys know how it's.